Alright guys, Haruka Gaming back with another video and today we are going to be looking at a brand new game uh, that I've been playing for a couple of weeks now, so I guess it's not brand new, but uh, it's a game that I started recently uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, it is a very, very, uh, very, very good... Uh... But, uh, sorry, I got a little bit distracted there seeing Loxus, but... Uh, yeah, um, as a huge fairy tale fan, this is I've been looking for a very very good um, fairy tale game. We didn't really have one for the longest time, and I think that this is one that uh, I really enjoy. So I just wanted to showcase this a bit and just go through some of the stuff that you can do here. So it is a pretty uh, good game, you know. We do have this screen, this like character screen. Where you do have quite a few, you can see the gold background uh, on the SR characters, the orange background on the SSR characters. Then you have purple on the rare characters. Um, and yeah, you just uh, have a lot of really, really good units. The characters themselves have multiple different ways that you can level them up. So you can either give them dupes to get their star ranking up and that gives them passive skills and gets them up stars. So every unit can become a six star unit. Um, you just need to be able to pull dupes of them for in order to do that. Um, as Erza is a special festival unit, she is four star from the point that you pull her. Otherwise, normally SSRs are five, they're three stars and then you have to build them up. So like Brain is currently a three star for me, Hot Eye as well, and Racer, and Midnight Jalal, you know, Ikarga. All of these guys are three stars for me at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, they, if I, the more I pull them, the more I get their fragments, the more they'll level up. Juvia is a free character, and so is Gajil, so that's why they're very high uh, starred up there. Cobra I have pulled a couple of times, and Makarov also I have pulled a couple of times there. Um, let's just go into the gameplay and just see just the way that the game works, basically. So these are the regular quest stages. Uh, I don't have any, um, I need to progress further in the adventure in order to get the new quest stages. So I'll just go through one of these ones quickly. Uh, you have to feed all enemies and uh, yeah, Juvia's leader skill does give enhanced ice attack, which is good for the Erza and the Juvia. Um, the colors don't really mean that they're ice units, I don't think. I still don't really know what that means, but uh, I know that uh, she's a magician and Erza is a um, sorcerer or something. Something of that sort. And Makarov is a fighting unit. Um, but yeah, let's go in and just see what the gameplay is like here. So I'll just turn this off of auto just for the sake of it. So as you can see, you have a bunch of skills that you can uh, launch and they do have a cooldown on these skills. Oops, seems like it's lagging a bit there. That's fine. But yeah, you do have skills, you do have nor your, your normal attacks as well. You do also have your dodge, which you can use when you need to, and uh... Yeah, it's pretty basic. You can switch your characters just like that, and then just like uh, spam their skills. So the skills are pretty spammable here, and you do have skills that have invincibility. You have like lots of different types of skills, which is very, very good. And that's basically just like the main quest modes. Otherwise, this game has a lot of other modes and there are also other uh, different quest stages that have different... Um, I guess I'll go back in and see if I can find one that have give different uh, ways that you can clear it. So for this one, um, you have to go through the thorns. I guess I'll just play this stage just to show. So there are a bunch of thorns on the road. You basically just have to go through them. They do do damage to you, so you just have to time it kind of, but I'm not going to bother timing it. Okay, so the screen kind of messed up there, but that's fine. The point is, is that there is a goal uh, over there, and you just need to get to the goal. That's basically just all you have to do in these stages, but they will. there are some that are quite difficult. Um... So yeah, you do, and some of them do have missions where take no damage and you get this or something like that as well. 
Um, so that is important. Otherwise, we do have the adventure. So you do need to clear the adventure in order to uh, be able to get to um, the new stages of the quest mode. So we'll just go through one stage of adventure. In adventure, you basically have all of your units. This is how the auto works. But yeah, in adventure, you basically have all your units come out and they all just clear the field. Um, there are some bosses here that are quite difficult because they will have barriers on them where you need a certain element of attack in order to break the barrier or to deal damage to the barrier. Um, they can still take damage even without having the, uh, even while they have the barrier up, but it really does waste a lot of time if you don't get rid of their barrier, so, you know, sometimes you can lose because of that, um... And yeah, that's basically the adventure mode. So some of the bosses are pretty tough here. And you do get a lot of good rewards from there. So that's the adventure. So then you have these daily stages, which you can do daily. And they do give you out a lot of items. These are for, like, leveling up your characters, basically. These are for actual, like, experience. So you level up your characters with this. These are for leveling up the skills of the characters. And then this one, you do need this to upgrade your gear, and you need uh, a lot of coins to upgrade your gear as well on characters. And then you have this quiz, fairy tale quiz, which does actually give out a lot of good rewards every week. So you can do this weekly, and you get a lot of really, really good rewards from that. Um, otherwise, we do have challenge events. So you have the Peridian, uh, Peridition Palace, something like that. Um, this stage you do get uh, rewards based on like how long in a certain amount of time um, and you can stack that up to 12 hours and basically the higher you get the more rewards you get. These rewards uh, are very good because they do give out these blue gear enhancing stones and coins as well um, and then as you clear through stages you do get uh, rewards like this. Um, and then these purple orbs you can exchange for certain things in the store. I'll just exchange for two of those here. Just because I do need them. And uh, yeah, you can exchange for character points as well, which, I mean, I don't need to, so I'm not really going to bother. But uh, yeah, you can do that weekly, I think. Um, other than that, we do have these uh, stages. So these are basically like just uh, co-op stages that you can do and you do get character enhancing uh, materials as well here so we'll just go through one of these stages um i think the level seven boss might be a little bit tough for me but i'll see what i can do and i am inviting some people to join me because i'm not going to be able to beat this on my own so i do need some help wherever i can get it even if erza is a festival unit uh, you know I guess in terms of OPBR, she would be an EX unit, is what um, she would be classified as um, in terms of this game. But uh, yeah, so you basically just go through this. The bosses do have certain skills that you have to look out for, so you just need to try and avoid those as best as possible. As you can see, Makarov did get stunned there because he couldn't dodge that, which uh, I mean, I couldn't really do anything about because he is being controlled by the AI. You can only control one unit at a time. Um, and yeah, so we'll just see if I can clear this, otherwise uh, that's going to be a little bit annoying because um, I don't have any good friends here. And I did get stunned, so I think I'm probably just going to die here, which is not great. I uh, definitely don't want to die if possible because you get better rewards if you do survive the... Uh, whole time, which we did, thankfully. Absolutely beautiful, love Erza. She is uh, my favorite character in the series. And we got some very, very good rewards there, so that is always good. Did not get any of the five-star stones, but that's fine. Um, yeah, that's basically the co-op mission there. Then... Uh, each boss has a different uh, attack pattern. This one is very difficult. Um, other than that, you have this tower, 
Um, in the tower, you can basically bring one unit to fight. Uh, well, you bring um, as many units as you want, but uh, the unit does get locked after you use them in a stage, so you have to clear as far as you can go without uh, running out of units, basically. So you don't want to throw three units at floor one. You want to just clear it with one unit, and uh, it's basically... I guess I can just go through this here for everyone so i have to use an agility character so an agility character will look like this they have the little agility sign on them and we'll just go with uh kageyama here and this stage is only stage one so it will be very easy so i shouldn't need to really bother with anything here my kageyama is only level 21 i didn't bother leveling him up because i don't have enough level up materials you do, uh, you do need to save your uh, level up materials for your good units, because uh, you definitely do not get uh, enough of them at the time, so you definitely want to save those as much as you can. But yeah, you basically go through each stage like this, and they'll show you what bosses are on what stage, and you basically have to time your attacks based on the bosses. Arya is a very annoying boss, so yeah, definitely keep that in mind as well. Other than that, you have the wizard test, which I have not done as of yet, but it's basically just like a little map that you go through. You can collect certain buffs and uh, go through all the maps, and you do get some rewards from going through there. You basically clear this normal stage, and then you fight the boss, and then you'll be able to pick the difficult stages and get better rewards from the difficult stages. And yeah, I don't need to go through that because it's basically the same. Other than that, you have this uh, battle of um, whatever it is here. Um, this one is uh, quite a difficult uh, stage, I would say. Uh, it is actually pretty hard. Um, but for now, I guess I will go with uh, these guys here. Yeah. Uh, these do get locked uh, once you clear each stage, so you do need to be careful of that as well because they each have their own requirements and you don't want to use all your good units straight away. So before you uh, fight Mard Gear, then you do have to go through these uh, little bosses and you have to accumulate 100,000 points in order to get to phase 2 of this, which is uh, fighting against Mard Gear. Um, but uh, yeah, like right now that should be easy. I don't really see us struggling here. We should be able to get to the 100,000 and then you will be able to fight Mart Gear and it's basically just getting as many points as you can to get the most rewards as you can. Um, there are missions daily for you to do this at least once a day. So yeah, it's also good to do your daily missions because you do get good rewards from your daily missions in order to level up your characters and whatnot. So that is so very, very good. Otherwise, yeah, we just go through this. Even though I have already reached 100,000 points, um, I'm still going to keep going until this timer up top runs out. Uh, you want to get as many points as you can, so farming points on this easy stage is always the best. Um, you definitely want to farm as many points as you can on this stage so that then when you come back to the next stage of the fight, then you will be able to uh, use a lot better units or get a lot better rewards. All right, so now we move on to Mard Gear. And you basically, it's basically the same thing. We're just going to be fighting Mard Gear, trying to stack as many points as we can while avoiding his skills as best as possible. Underworld King, evade the thorns. All right, dude. I'll try my best. You do just have to try to avoid the uh, enemies as much, the enemy skills as much as possible. I did not do a good job there, but that's fine. Uh, once you get to a certain point, then he doesn't really do that much damage, anyways. So you know, like I don't really have to bother 
dodging really. Um, I just want to try and get as many points as I can. I think you have to get 600,000 points in order to uh, clear all the missions. So we'll get as close as we can here. If we can get to 600,000 with this team, that would be really nice. But uh, we'll see what happens there. Because you do have uh, quite a lot of restrictions on these on this mode based on what units you can use. So you do have to build a pretty decent team to be able to get all the missions for the 600,000 points. Do a racer here. We have Cobra. That uh, skill does do quite a bit of damage, so I do want to avoid that as much as possible. Unfortunately, we did not get up to 600,000, I don't think, but uh, we did as close as we could. 500,000 is fine. Again, I only started this game like a couple of weeks, like a week or two ago, so... Uh, yeah, not expecting to get all the rewards right now. My uh, units are not that leveled up, but uh, yeah, we do have all of these. So hopefully I'll be able to get this in the future, but uh, for now, you'll leave that there. And then as you can see, they do have a lot of typings that you are able to use there. And that's that. Other than that, we have the Oration Seis. So I guess I'll try... Uh... I'll try beating uh, this brain stage. Just bring my best units just because uh, the stage is actually quite hard if you don't play it properly. Uh, but yeah, you basically just have to beat brain and uh, he does have some gimmicks which we will be able to see here in a bit. Uh, okay, well I wasted my skill there. So basically when he gets into this mode, what you have to do is you have to destroy these uh, towers. And that is just so that uh, you can stop him from uh, unleashing his skill. Alright, so he's, uh, he's in his uh, mode now, so you do have to kind of avoid... Taking damage here. Um, alright, that's not great. Alright, so I did die there, but uh, that was, yeah, unfortunate. I'll try this again later, but basically that's how you beat it, and you do get some good rewards from do beating this. You do get five attempts a day, and then you do get some first clear rewards. I would love to get some of these. Some of these look really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, it wouldn't, it's a random chest, unfortunately, so you do have to uh, try your luck with that. But other than that, that is the uh, Horatio and Seis event. Then we do have um, Challenge Battle here. So we do, this is basically like Arena. So this is the the most difficult stage of arena that you have to get to level 40, I think. Uh, player level 40 before you can unlock this. I think it was 40 or 45, somewhere around there. And so basically the way this works is uh, you build three teams. Enemy builds three teams and you basically fight it out for who can get the most wins. So you basically whoever gets two wins first uh, is the uh, champ in this mode. So uh, right now, I guess I'll go with this. I put my weakest uh, team against the enemy's strongest, and these are uh, the enemies will be controlled using AI, so it's not actually fighting someone, um, unfortunately, but uh, that's just how it goes with this game, so can't really complain about that. So the first team is a throwaway. Uh, okay, so this is uh, one... One of the main problems that I have with this game is that it always uh, force closes randomly. So that is very annoying, but, uh, you know, the game's still good to me, so I'll still enjoy it as much as I can. I would, uh, it's at least uh, I don't have to deal with the bullshit that I do in uh, One Piece Bounty Rush, but let's go back in and see. That did waste one of my, uh, 
goes for the day, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go with this. We'll see if I'm able to beat this first stage, uh, this first uh, team using my weakest team. Um, so Shadows, uh, his leader skill does give cooldown, so for your skills, so hopefully we should be able to spam our skills pretty easily here, and it looks like the, like, from what I can see, what the enemy did is they put their weakest team on top, like I did, and then they are, um, yeah, the hidden team is probably their second strongest team, not their strongest, or it could actually be their strongest, because their other team only had a million, uh, battle power, so you never know, but either way, we won that one. Hopefully we will be able to win this one too. This, um, our team is stronger in terms of battle power, but uh, battle power does not uh, really win you the match. Actually, Jalal being the leader is very, very bad for us because basically Jalal's leader skill is that he, um, when you attack Jalal, it does damage to all of your team. So it's kind of like a curse. So it's very, very annoying, especially like, as you can see, like Cobra was like literally died just because of Jalal's stupid ability there. Um, we'll have to see if we're able to win here. Hopefully we are. I think we should be fine because Erza does have type advantage on Juvia. All right, nice. So we did get the win there. If you do manage to get a streak, then you do get extra um, points when you win. But unfortunately, the game always force closes for me sometimes, so I can never get a streak. Uh, I can get a streak here. So as you can see, my win-loss ratio is 10 wins, 0 losses for this week. Um, yeah. So this is the regular arena. So basically, you just uh, pick out whoever you want to fight. So I guess I'll go with this. And, uh, yeah, you just go in, and this time you can control your characters, but you're still fighting an AI enemy. So, don't get your hopes up. This, you are just fighting an AI here. So, we'll just uh, stop the enemy in his tracks here. Uh, he did manage to avoid that. And now I will change to Erza, because I do... Uh, I will change to auto here. Because I don't want to uh, have to touch the screen every single time. So yeah, we just avoid the skills. Uh, once you've seen the enemies, then you will be able to avoid their skills pretty easily. Because the enemies will always have the same skills. So yeah, that's basically the arena game mode. And then those are basically all the game modes that you have in the game. So I guess uh, to finish off, we'll just show like basically just the different ways that you can level up your characters. So like I said, you can level them up using the dupe system if you get dupes. Otherwise, you can also level up their leader skills here. You do need these orbs, which you can get in the main quest as well. Um, but uh, yeah, right now I need to wait till I get to level 55. I think I have 52 or 3 at the moment. Yeah, so your character level is basically your player level. Um, so yeah, I'm 53 at the moment. Then you can get their active skills uh, leveled up as well. Sure, hers is maxed out for Erza, so I don't need to level up any of her skills there. Other than that, you have gear, which you do need to get these materials, which drop from the quest stages. And uh, yeah, the more difficult quest stages you do, the more drops you will get. And uh, right now, she is maxed out here as well. Other than that, you did see from the Mard gear event that I did get some of these... Um, green shards so you do need to get some uh these to level these up to different uh levels here and they do have their own stats as well so you do want to get good stats and good uh, skills here but uh yeah so from the mard gear event as you can see i did get a lot of these green ones so i can just turn them into blue ones and then uh, i don't have enough blue ones to turn them into uh purple so i'll leave that there um, other than that, you have the energy circle where you do need to clear these daily stages, which uh, you do only get a certain amount of attempts per day, uh, 10 attempts, and then you can refresh two attempts. So 
Yeah, you need to uh, pick what element you want to fight carefully. And then um, these orbs, you can enhance these orbs using uh, these little things that you get from the quest. Other than that, you can uh, use the, uh, these little orbs as well. These two star, three star orbs to level them up. Which I will do because I don't need three star orbs, honestly. I'd much rather have this one maxed out. And make sure that I don't give any four star orbs, actually. But yeah, then that does increase their stats as well. As you can see, that is her total battle power there. Um, I will level up these two later once I get enough for them. Other than that, you have these uh, weapons, which you can create or craft or have to get yourself. Um, they do each have their own stats, so you have to basically match them up with whatever unit you're using and try to match the, their skills and abilities to whatever unit you want to apply them to. Other than that, it's basically the same thing. You use the XP scrolls in order to get their level up here, and yeah, that's basically uh, the game. So yeah, this is a game that I'm having a lot of fun with at the moment, so... If anyone does want to try this, then definitely give it a go. I think it is a very, very fun game. And yeah, I'll leave the video there. So if you do, uh, if you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like and please do subscribe if you'd like to see more content. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.